end of 2023 to 2024 tunaanza tukaona price za coins zitakuja kupanda because it's a halving season so kama ni halving season inakuja that means this time is the best time for you to accumulate more coins because ukiaccumulate coins nyingi sasa hizi you are giving yourself an opportunity to make a good profit but not buying bitcoin sasa bitcoin iko from million sasa hii si ndio it's very easy for people to, to live from uh, i mean to elevate from 4 million to 10 million kenyan shillings si ndio by numbers it's very exciting kama imetoka 4 million eh yeah, iko 10 million. <laughs> 10 million but if you do the calculation in percentage rise utaona ni kidogo sana this is just like 120% si mm. ndio eh yeah. so kama ununua za za 100k utakuwa kama na 200 kidogo sana but guess what kama ungenunua if you could have decided to buy a coin like a shiba ambayo iko 0.000216 probably for now halafu ikapanda mpaka 0.01 unajua you have made more than 1 2 3 3 1000 percent ya unaona ko is a profit 10 times So it's very easy for the coin to move from 1 dollar to 10 dollar. Lakini si rahisi coin kutoka 4 million yende 40 million dollar. That is quite impossible. So mm-hmm. the coin when it has reached a certain price of the I uh, mean certain price who are inaenda taratibu. Somebody will ask me why, isn't it? Kwamba mm-hmm. have you understood my concept? Kwamba coin ikifikia bei kubwa inaanza kupanda taratibu. Lakini coin ikiwa ndogo price it's easy for it to elevate very fast and very extensive. Do you know why? Wacha nikwambie kitu kimoja. Sasa hizi Bitcoin iko 4 million US, I mean 4 million Kenyan shillings. Sasa hizi ukiwa na 1 million unaweza kupata Bitcoin. Si unapata 0.1. Yeah. Uh, si ndio? Yeah. yeah. That means you get a quarter of of a Bitcoin. Yeah. Lakini if the coin is sold at 0.3 maybe 30 bob ukiwa na 1 million ya Kenya tanunua coin ngapi? You will buy more than a million coins, ndio? Eh. Hey. So, unaona pesa yako ikiingia takes more than a million coins in the market. So you can disturb the market. But hapo ukiweka 1 million, even one coin ununui. So the percentage change, unajua the coins price are changing according to how much money is being put from people outside to buy the coin. So kama ukinunua na pesa fulani ambayo inanunua hata coin moja ifiki that means the impact will be in a very slow or small percent. That's why you see hata ukiweka 10 million in bitcoin that means you have bought two bitcoins and a half. Unaona? Mm. Lakini ukichukua 10 million hiyo ukanunua a coin which is worth of 0.3 US dollars you will buy a pack of coin ambayo inaweza ka disturb nini? Market because you have took a lot of coins in the market. Sawa sawa? Mm. So sasa hii mtu usiweke mindset yako kununua bitcoin kabisa you are late but as long as you have more than 18000 cryptos you have a chance to buy the coins the main thing that you need to make in consideration is that the use of the coin the liquidity of the coin that's a very important thing unaponunua coin lazima ujue hiyo coin ina kazi gani for example for now tumesema kwamba tuna crypto list nyingi sana lakini the coins that they can supply or they can participate in defi ziko chache for example today ukinunua banana ukanunua bikes ukanunua panty that means you have a coin that you can do a staking with You have bought a coin that you can do a yield farming with. I'm going to explain what is yield farming there. So, so, so do not buy the coin because the coin is having a higher price, but buy the coin because it's having a good liquidity and there's a chance for the coin to rise up in price even 10 times, even a thousand times. So, so, that's it. So, to give you 